Hello my YouTube friend, this is Now Mechanic here and today I'm working on a 2000 Toyota Tundra and what I'm going to be doing today, I am going to be removing the passenger seat. The reason why I'm removing the passenger seat is because under it, there's an amplifier that I need to remove. So what you're going to need for this job is a 3 8 ratchet, a screwdriver, a 40 millimeter socket, I'm going to be using an impact gum to speed things up so let's go do this job the first thing I did was I pushed the seat back and once you put the seat back you're gonna have some covers here this one is missing the cover but I'll show you this one so you, you you're gonna have four of them one two the one that's missing there and you're also gonna have two in the back so in order to remove these out of here you're going to need the flathead screwdriver to push them out. We're going to take the screwdriver and we're going to pry right here softly. And all we have to do is just pull it up and then push the, um, the cover out. And you're going to do the same thing to all four of them. Now, once you remove that cover, you're going to be exposed to the screws. And goes one here. And we're going to use, you're going to be using a ratchet with a 14 millimeters I'm gonna be using my impact gun now we're gonna remove the ones in the back now that we removed the screws from the front, all we have to do now is put the chair forward before we can get to the back. This one look like a strip. Is that happen? Just use the ratchet and you'll get it out. So here you go. Now we can remove the seat. Before we remove the seat, there's a wire harness we have to disconnect. And once we disconnect it, we are able to remove the seat. This is the wire harness we need to remove here. And all we have to do is just press right here. And once we press, pull it. Now we should be able to remove the seat. Goes my amplifier. This is the reason why I removed this seat to get to this amplifier. This amplifier is a Terminator TN400 4. So I'm going to remove this amplifier and then I'm going to show you how to install the seat back. Now we're going to install the seat back in, and you got to make sure when you put them, when you put the seat back in, that these holes. These two right here and the two in the back matches, they go right in here. One in here, the other one over here, that one, and 
this one right here. So you want to make sure when you put the seat, it matches. You gotta wiggle it a little bit under the seat right here there's like a little on um, rod that goes in a hole that's in here I forgot to mention that before but you gotta get that in there and then you're gonna match the holes let's start putting our bowls back one go here you want to do it by hand first make sure you line it up Once you're lining up, use your ratchet or your impact gun, 14 millimeters. You don't want to go too tight yet because you still got to do the other ones and make sure they are lined up. Don't do them too tight until you do the ones in the back and don't put this cover yet until you do the ones in the back. The way to put this cover, it has two holes here and these two clips right here. It's gonna go right in there and this is gonna slide right in. There it goes, they're in. Same thing with this, these two clips goes on this hose and this in the top. Don't forget to tighten the ones in the front. Don't forget to put the cover and you have completed removing and installing your passenger seat on your 2000 Toyota Tundra. So once again, this is Non Mechanic. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below or contact me on Non Mechanic 101 at yahoo.com that is non-mechanic 101 at yahoo.com and remember if non-mechanic can do it you can do it later